Hi guys, so we have sea urchin again. This time I'm gonna make a video about uh, how to open the sea urchin, the so to speak correct method at home. Um, I've made a video before on how I like to open the sea urchin and I found the other method a lot easier uh, to do because the other method was done inside of the sink. This one you have to do it on the counter. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is cutting the sea urchin in half and then cracking it open and then removing the uh, row from the urchin. So let's try that. Um, to use a pretty big knife in my opinion. I've tried using smaller knives. Uh, I've tried using something like this and it really did not work very well. Um, and it seemed to damage the knife as well. So I don't recommend using something like this. So I'm going to use this one today. All right, let's go. So I'm going to cut right on to the middle of the urchin. There's going to be water coming out of it. So have some paper towels or uh, towels underneath your um, cutting board, okay? All right, so it's pretty hard to cut open actually from the top like this. Okay, got in a little bit. Okay, got in a little bit more. Okay, and according to what people have told me, just crack it open. Uh, nope, that wasn't so easy. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, I just have to use my tongs now. I refuse to touch the spikes. Okay. Not as easy as it seems. Okay. Lots of water is coming out. Okay. Let's try cutting it open again. Um, I'm using like gent gentle force, but I don't want to, you know, make everything inside splatter all over my kitchen either. Oh, there we go. Lots of water inside. See, it's pouring out. Now it's really awkward for me to remove the water now without touching the sea urchin. I'm gonna remove some of the water first. Ooh. So that it's not as messy on my countertop. Oh, look at, look at all the big mess I've made already. Okay. So... There's the roll. There's the roll. I'm going to use my grapefruit spoon to remove the roll. Okay, let's see where the roll is. I find this method a little bit more messy because it just looks really gross. Look at it. It just looks gross. My other method, I cut out the middle piece, throw that up throw that away and then I just go in from the bottom. This one is a little bit messy. Change my tools, get my chopsticks out. Okay. So this is kind of a fail. See, I've ruined the shape of this piece of roll. Because it's kind of awkward here. Okay, into the salt water. I'm gonna try to get another piece here. See, it has to look nice when you eat it, right? I mean, of course, I know you guys are gonna say it's gross, it's gross, it looks like crap, but I mean, there is nice and not so nice. And the piece is all broken up in half, then it's not so nice. If you know what I mean. Another piece. I can't even see where the row is when I open it in half like this. I only see the gross stuff. If you want to see the other method that I opened this uni before, check out my other video. I'm going to put a link at the bottom.